Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey at IGN with a special Rewind Theater, not only with the developers, we're on location, we're up in Seattle at Highwire Games, makers of this game, Golem, a PlayStation VR exclusive. It is a uh, major AAA game coming to the PlayStation VR as a virtual reality experience. I'm with the two primary artists on the game, the world artist, Vic DeLeon, and the character artist, Travis Brady. Guys, uh, first of all, we're clearly, I love the vibe here, but and that vibe is clearly not one of modern day America, Vic. Correct. Uh, this is, uh, so we've created a world where we're using a lot of ancient looking uh, architecture and uh, nothing is manufactured. If you if you notice throughout the environments, everything is is either handmade. Right. Uh, it's it's very rough hewn, and you can get a good vibe for yeah, it. Yeah. Let's take a look at. I mean, just a, there's all these drawings on the walls. There looks like we've got a bird cage. There's a lot of hand all handmade pottery. Yeah. Well, you're in a girl's room, and uh, a lot of the items that are on the shelf that are clearly visible in the trailer. Uh, have story associated with them. Yeah. So, so every single object, in fact, has a part in the story. Handmade pillow, I see a quilt back there. So let's move along. Now, Travis the Golem itself, this guy uh, does not look like a robot. He looks, to me, like an actual chunk of stone come to life. Yeah, that's what we, we really wanted to pull off, that he is part of the environment. Um, he's not a dude in a suit. He's not mechanically operated. He is an ancient like creature a, being yeah. that was generated and looks and matches the environment that he's in. Like a statue come to life. Yes. Yeah, he's, uh, he looks like you shouldn't mess with him. He's, he's clearly, he's weathered. You see the cracking there. Yes. Uh, the glowing blue eyes are a little haunting, not gonna uh, lie. He's not even the scary one. <laughs> 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 So uh, we'll, we'll, let's work our way through this again. But so yeah, Golem, Golem, not Golem, right, guys? Are we gonna? Golem. Are we gonna, Golem. We're, gonna Golem. <laughs> we're establishing Golem. the the uh, the That's right. the rules right now. It's gonna be Golem. So we'll go back through again, and we'll take yeah. a look at a few other things. Yeah, as you go through the opening of the trailer, you can see that we wanted to. to generate what this game was about in a brief amount of time and each one of these things that are placed in here all have tell a little bit of the story and yeah. give you a feeling for for where this environment is and, and even the age of the character now Vic, so this is of course a virtual reality game you will be in this world that's right uh, what you're looking at is all it's all in-game footage this is done in the engine well that was my next question so you guys are using unreal engine 4 which has a very very solid reputation around Correct. the industry uh, this so this is not a pre-rendered target thing that maybe we'll see one day this there's is, no this smoke is the and mirrors here no this is all real this is what the game will look like when you play in fact right forward a little bit right there so uh lighting is a big part of any game especially a first person game as right. this is but i gotta figure lighting matters even more in a virtual reality experience that's true well oh so so lighting materials the way that you draw out a path for the player to follow uh, these are all really important things that help you build a story within the environment but at the same time help you guide the player from one point to the next, right? So it's some of it is, is conscious, other is subconscious, right? We're not going to be able to draw arrows or things like that. There's mm -hmm. no, there's no, you know, intrusive HUD or anything. We're actually telling a story with the environment. Now, guys, give me real quick since it's been been a few months since the game was announced for uh, our viewers who may not recall. It's been a little while. What is the uh, Twitter-friendly version of? the plot synopsis here. What's the, the quick setup for Golem? Oh, well, uh, sit on your couch and control a giant Golem. That sounds, that sounds good. Right, uh, I think. And you alluded uh, to you earlier think? that there, this is not the only one. There are, there yeah. are other things yeah. in the world. There's, there's several types of Golems, yes. Well, uh, Travis, let's there's talk so about- There's so much we want to give away that's exciting, but we can't We can't talk, right we well, can't spoil it. <laughs> Well, we do have a whole month. We're covering the game all month long here on IGN First. Um, I mean, there's enough stuff in this trailer. If you were to look at it frame by frame and look at things in the background, you might 
There's a city back there. Is I don't know. Is that a city? <laughs> it's, it looks I, city -ish. I can't tell what looks you're city -ish I don't to know me. what you're talking about. But yes, <laughs> um, everything in the in the teaser is something that's already in the game. Yeah. Right. So we didn't we didn't create anything that's outside of the universe for this this particular trailer. Um, I mean everything. Right. So everything that you're seeing in here has a parallel inside the game and inside the story. And you know that's just one of those things that we like to do. Uh, with our characters and our environments is, you know, really give you some meat yeah. to chew on. Right? You can see Vic and I work closely together to try to make sure that the the golem is is and the characters are integrated right into they the belong world. in the world right. And I mean, one of the things that Vic is really good about is is composition, and he guides you with composition and he guides you with lighting. You'll see really good examples of that uh, later on um, when you play the game. Thanks, Travis. <laughs> I had a lot uh, of help. <laughs> well, not a lot. There's very few of us here. <laughs> well, that's true. I had the help of eight other people. But we all have experience <laughs> with working with each other for years, so that really, that really helps. Well, uh, this is definitely the single most intriguing PlayStation VR game I've seen so far. That's why we're here. That's why we're going to be covering it all month long for much more on Golem. Keep it tuned to IGN first all month long. Thank you guys.